So after working out everything for the simple cubic lattice, let's consider a BCC lattice, a body centered cubic lattice. What is the reciprocal lattice to it? In order to find the reciprocal lattice, we need the real space lattice, the primitive lattice vectors. A1 for BCC is given as half A minus X cap plus Y cap plus Z cap. A2 is given as half A X cap minus y cap plus z cap a3 is given as half a x cap plus y cap minus z cap so these are our primitive lattice vectors in the real space Now we need to find the cell volume that is A1 dot A2 cross A3 and you have probably already worked it out and you have found it to be half A cubed. With this and with our usual prescription for finding the reciprocal lattice vectors B1, B2 and B3 b1 would be given as twice pi over a y cap plus z cap b2 given as twice pi over a x cap plus z cap and b3 is given as twice pi over a x cap plus y cap does it ring a bell are you familiar with these set of translation vectors certainly yes this is along the direction of fcc lattice so these are the same as the direction of primitive lattice vectors for an FCC lattice which means that the reciprocal lattice to BCC is FCC. We have found something very interesting. And now comes the job of finding a Brillouin zone. So in order to find a Brillouin zone, we need to define the G vectors, the, recipro uh, the translation vectors in reciprocal lattice, which is given as V1, B1 plus V2, B2 plus v3 b3 v1 v2 v3 are as usual integers which expressed in terms of a that is the lattice constant in real space would be like twice pi over a v2 plus v3 along x cap plus v1 plus v2 along y cap plus sorry this is v1 plus v3 along y cap plus v1 plus v2 along z cap this is the generic form of g so the shortest g vectors would be
that would be given as twice pi over a plus minus y cap plus minus z cap twice pi over a plus minus x cap plus minus z cap and twice pi over a plus minus x cap plus minus y cap so in order to find the reciprocal unit cell you need to create a parallel pipette using b1 and b1 b2 and b3 in order to find the first brillouin zone you need to find the planes that have these vectors we have how many vectors here each will give us with plus and minus sign here uh, each will give us uh, four vectors and with this you will have many vectors have them using planes and the smallest part smallest volume that you cut out using that is the first brillouin zone similarly with the second shortest g vectors you can find the second brillouin zone with the second uh, third one you can find the third brillouin zone and so on you can see that the shape of the brillouin zone in this case is going to be complicated it won't be as simple as a cube or a parallel pipette it would be more complicated than that so here is a homework for you you need to draw the first Brillouin zone for a BCC lattice. I don't expect your drawing to be perfect because as, as I already told that the picture is going to be really cumbersome but give a thought to it and try to appreciate the geometry try to construct something so that you uh, understand exactly what the Brillouin zone should look like that's all about it it's not about making a perfect drawing of it and then after you have drawn something look up the internet Try to see exactly how the Brillouin zone in case of uh, BCC lattice looks like. That would be something really useful. Then let's move on to finding out the reciprocal lattice to FCC. Here I'll do very little, it's your job to find out, repeat the exercise that we have done so far. So I'll just tell you the primitive translation vectors that we have for FCC, I'll just remind you here, A1 is given as half A Y cap plus Z cap A2 equals half A z cap plus x cap and a3 is half a x cap plus y cap you need to find out the cell volume the volume is given as a1 dot a2 cross a3 and you have probably already worked it out and found 1 over 4 a cubed. That's the cell volume here. So your homework is to find B1, B2 and B3. The reciprocal axis vectors and also find the first Brillouin zone, draw the first Brillouin zone.
I think you can already guess the answer to this part of the question finding B1, B2 and B3 because uh, when you considered BCC lattice the reciprocal vectors were the primitive lattice vectors in real space for FCC so here it would be the other way around for FCC it would become BCC. You can already guess that it's just you need to work it out and show explicitly and then drawing the first Brillouin zone again it's uh, a cumbersome deal it won't be simple but you need to put some thought into it you need to perform some exercise and then look up the internet to s appreciate exactly how it should look like that way you will understand the most of it